Hi, and welcome to the CompTIA A plus 220-1001 Module 1. This is Lesson 1.2, Basic PC Operations, an introduction to the system unit. Okay, our objectives for this lesson are to understand and define the term system unit according to what CompTIA says, understand and recognize the basic components of a system unit and input and output devices, and understand the term peripherals and give examples. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Understand the basic operations of the PC or system unit. Now, CompTIA's definition of what we call the PC or tower is the system unit. Now, Let's think about that for a moment, because over the years, we've called that system unit many, many different things, whether it's a PC or tower, a CPU, a box, whatever terminology you've used, CompTIA's definition is called the system unit. Now, the system unit is comprised of the CPU, the hard drives, the memory, the motherboard, and other internal components. The system unit provides, at its basic level, processing and storage. Those are the basic functionality of the system unit, processing and storage. Basic usage of the system unit involves the inputting of information and its output. Now you think about that for a moment because when you're using your system unit or your CPU or your tower, you're basically putting in information and you're getting an output. Basic operation of the system unit and basic operation of a computer. So now let's kind of talk about what does that mean, the inputting and the output? How can we input things in there? I mean, we don't open it up and put things in. How do we input it in and how do we get things out? So we'll come to that in a moment. Now, everything that connects to the system unit is called a peripheral. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So we have the system unit that does the basic inputting and outputting of information, but now everything that we connect to that system unit is called a peripheral. So let's dig a little bit more in. Now, there are two types of peripherals, an input and output devices, and we're going to talk about those uh, in a little bit more detail. So you got a clear understanding. Input devices. Common input devices include mouse, keyboard, scanners, trackpads, etc. If you have a digitizer pad, that pen and that digitizer pad is an input device. Um, whatever you can think of that you use to input information in. Now, we use the keyboard to type information into our system, onto a Word document or, or spreadsheet. That's inputting information into that system unit. Um, we take a scanner, we uh, flatbed scanner, we scan a picture and we scan it into the computer. We're inputting information into that system unit. The mouse, we're clicking on things and um, we're inputting information in. Anything that you can think of that's inputting information into that computer is an input device, which also is called a peripheral. Right. So let's move on to output devices. After you put that information into the system, it got to come out some way unless it's stored. And that's the basic operation of a system unit is processing and storage. But if it's not stored, it's going to come out. And how does it come out? It comes out through the monitor. Uh, when you connect your monitor or that peripheral monitor to that system unit and you're looking at what's ever on the screen, it's an output. It's outputting information from that system unit. Printers. As I was typing on my spreadsheet earlier, I hit print. That, that system unit is outputting. It's outputting that what I just print out. So it, that's an output device. Speakers. Um, if I'm playing a whatever type of uh, data file or audio file, uh, the output coming out through the speakers is an output, output device. All of these devices are peripherals, but they are output devices. So hopefully you're getting the basic understanding. So first we got the CPU. That its basic uh, functionality is processing and storage. Then we have to input information into that CPU, whether it's from a keyboard, a mouse, or whatever. Then if it's not being stored, it's being output somehow through speakers, monitors, printers, anything that you can think of that, had, that has an output, that's an output device. So basic understanding of the CPU. So this is where our journey took us today. We found out what the system unit is. It is the central part of the computer that provides processing and storage. Uh, the peripheral definition, anything input or output into a device that's in that system unit is a peripheral. Common input devices, keyboards, mice, scanners, common output devices, mouse uh, monitors, speakers, printers. Um, so now 
instead of when you're walking through Best Buy and you're looking at mice and keyboards, you're going to say, hey, that's an input device. Keyboard, that's an input device. When you're looking at um, speakers and printers and monitors, that's an output device. It's outputting the information that I input into my system unit, and my system unit's core functionality is processing and storage. So now you are beginning to talk like CompTIA. So that's our lesson for today, and we will see you in the next lesson.